Hi, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Veena Unnikrishnan and I'm a veterinarian. Today's video I'll be discussing about North American Veterinary Licensing Exam, NAVLE, and how a foreign veterinary graduate can practice as a licensed veterinarian in North America. I'll be discussing about three pathways. First one is National Examining Board associated with Canadian Veterinary Medical Association for Canada and ECFVG. Uh, Education Commission for Foreign Veterinary Graduate associated with American Veterinary Medical Association uh, for USA and PAVE Pathway which is a program for assessment of veterinary education equivalence associated with uh, uh, American Association of Veterinary State Board uh, which is accepted both in US and Canada. As a foreign veterinary graduates from non-accredited American Veterinary Medical Association colleges or university, you have to show your educational equivalence with an American Veterinary Medical Association accredited universities or colleges by registering through NEB, ECFVG or PAVE pathway. This is entirely different from NAVLE, which is North American Veterinary Licensing Exam. In uh, this, after registering this NEB, ECFEG and PAVE pathway, you will get a certificate of qualification uh, by which you can write North American Veterinary Licensing Exam. American Veterinary Medical Association universities or colleges are under direct supervision of American Veterinary Medical Association. And the graduate from these universities doesn't have to, uh, doesn't have to clear this qualifying examination. They have to write only North American Veterinary Licensing Exam. And in two attempts, they have to clear this exam. Otherwise, they have to take this clinical proficiency examination in order to get licensed as a veterinarian in North America. In short, this North American Veterinary Licensing Exam is entirely different from this NEB's ECFVG and PAVE. NAVLE is a licensing exam and conducted by entirely different association, International Council for Veterinary Assessment. NEB, ECFVG are some registering boards which conduct this qualifying examination for only for foreign veterinary graduates in order to uh, test their re, uh, written and practical proficiency in designated field. NEB and ECFVG which conducts this foreign equivalency exam in order to show that this foreign graduates are as equal to an American Veterinary Medical Association accredited graduates. In order to register for NEB, ECFVG or PAVE, you need to be a veterinary graduate from AVMA listed veterinary universities or colleges. So I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check out whether you are from a AVMA listed veterinary university or college. And if your uh, college is not listed, you have to go to their direct website and email them asking the further procedures. First of all, let's see what are the steps and procedures involved in registering and getting the certificate of qualification for National Examining Board NAB associated with Canadian Veterinary Medical Association for Canada. So first is you have to register your candidate profile in NEB portal and then you have to submit the required documents mentioned in the uh, website. So I'll leave all the links which is required for you to check out the details for this registration process in the description box. You can go and check it out there. And uh, you have to send the documents via postal to the address given in the website. So after registering in NEB portal and submitting your documents, your credential will be uh, verified. And by that time, you have to submit your English language proficiency test. It can be, you can take uh, TOEFLs, IELTS, Canadian English uh, language test, etc. The one thing you have to note is that you can take an exemption from this in taking this language test if you are a, a candidate who whose uh, 
even though if your english lang uh, english is not your na native language if you are from an english medium school for this english uh, language test waiver you have to provide an official letter from the school uh, stating the attendance of uh, full 3 years attend uh, attendance uh, stating that your complete language of uh, communication or medium was in english then uh, you have to uh, you will be given a notification that you have you are eligible to write the basic clinical science examination which is bcsc which is exclusively written by international graduates only after clearing this bcsc you can uh, write north american veterinary licensing exam so what is this bcsc exam consist of it consist of 225 questions uh, which is a written exam you can take this uh, in a pro metric center which is a computer based uh, examination and there will be 225 questions and you will be given um, um, 220 minutes to complete the questions and the total entire process involves 4 hours so you can write this BCSC exam even uh, outside US and Canada you can even write it from India China Australia etc but you have to uh, give an additional uh, fees to write this outside uh, Canada and US and you can take this BCSE exam three times in 12 months period after clearing um, BCSE exam you can either write North American veterinary licensing exam or you can proceed to PSA or CPE so this North American veterinary licensing exam is also a computer based exam written in a pro metric center and it has 360 questions and it will take a whole day in order to complete this exam after clearing north american licensing exam you will get a limited license to practice as a veterinarian in some states in us and also in some provinces in canada so what is this limited license with the limited license you can practice as a veterinarian under supervision which means you can practice as a veterinarian under a senior veterinary surgeon NAVLE exam is offered every April or uh, and November and December of each year so coming to PSA which is preliminary surgical assessment which should be taken before CPE which is a clinical proficiency exam so it is a surgical procedure which you will be doing in a cadaver where you have to do a sterile surgery uh, here, uh, like preparing the cadaver and everything so from the preparation of cadaver to the completion of the surgery you will be given 1.5 hours so you have to complete this entire procedure in 1.5 hours like one and a half hours and if you couldn't complete it you will fail the exam and you have to retake it uh, and uh, at the end of the uh, you know the procedure you will be given a short interview like a feedback for 30 minutes and uh, you will know what area you have uh, you know lost the marks and that will also help you to you know, do the PSA again uh, with uh, perfection so in this PSA you have to do a ventral midline ciliotomy and you have to close this uh, ventral midline ciliotomy and subcutaneous tissue skin on a cadaver and coming to clinical proficiency examination cpe before cpe uh, taking cpe exam you have to submit surgical uh, procedure documentation which means that uh, you have to submit um, uh, like a document uh, from past five years so stating that you have done at least one uh, uh, surgery as a primary surgeon like overall hysterectomy uh, uh, or uh, an additional five uh, surgeries as a primary surgeon or an assistant surgeon uh, including uh, overall hysterectomy or any other uh, any other surgical procedures involving sterile technique this documentation should involve aseptic surgical procedures involving gloving gowning and draping the patient and use of sterile instrumentation this documentation can be given by any uh, veterinarian one or more veterinarians licensed to practice as a veterinarian in any international jurisdiction so 
clinical proficiency exam cpe is actually a practical exam which uh, tests the medical and surgical skill of a candidate in an actual uh, hospital or clinical setup here you have to da, do medical surgical and diagnostic procedures uh, to handle a case so this involves examining and treatment of live animals and performing routine laboratory procedures so finally i will let you know the fees for all of this procedures first of all as for registering you have to pay 500 cat plus gst or hst depending upon which province you want to practice as a veterinarian so this is remember this is for canada alone and uh, you, uh this is uh, for every year you have to renew uh this uh you know uh, candidate portal in order to be active in this neb examination board so for that you have to pay uh 250 cad plus gst so you have to renew it every two years you have to remember that and for examination fees for uh, BCSE, you have to pay 465 CAT plus GST. And for North American Veterinary Licensing Exam, you have to pay 1130 CAT, uh, 1130 CAT plus GST. And additional overseas charge should be uh, given like 530 CAT if you are writing this exam outside Canada or US. Uh, that, that apply for BCSE too. And for PSA, you have to uh, you have to give thousand cat plus GST, and for CPE, it's seven thousand eight hundred cat per plus GST. And in order to retake CPE, you have to pay one nine zero zero cat thousand nine hundred cat per GST. And for summary and feedback report, you have to pay hundred cat plus GST. So these are the fee details and for further information and all the uh, details which I have taken is from uh, NEB website and I'll leave the link in the description box. Uh, uh, but uh, please do remember that when you go to NEB website, if it is not updated, if it still shows the November 2021 update, uh, so I, I have leave the link in the description box for December 2021 update. So, uh, for example, in a November 2021 update, they have mentioned that you need an immigration status in order to register for NAB. So, I have personally emailed this NAB uh, stating this uh, whether we need an immigration status uh, for uh, ra registering for NAB. And they have mentioned that in uh, December 2021, 20, uh, they have changed this uh, requirement. So please do check out the link uh, below for the uh, latest updated NEB requirements. So one more thing uh, I would like you to know is that if you are a, a final year student watching this video, you can also write this exam uh, before 10 months of your uh, graduation, which means by uh, writing this after writing this exam, you should uh, graduate within 10 months. So you can also write this exam from your own country uh, in a prometric center uh, so that after your degree you can also clear bcse and navli and directly come and practice as a veterinarian in uh, with a limited license thank you all for patiently watching this video and i hope this video was useful and if you think this uh, might be helpful to your friends please do share and also subscribe to my channel and support my channel and if you have any doubts, please do comment below. If I know the answer, I'll reply. And thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.